Hello friends, here in this video we are going to see a problem on pentagonal pyramid which is to be cut. Here is the question. A pentagonal pyramid, side of base 35 mm and height 70 mm rests on its base on HP with one side of base perpendicular to VP. It is cut by a plane which is perpendicular to VP such that the true shape of the section is an isosceles triangle of maximum possible base and maximum height. Draw its front view, sectional top view and toe shape of the section. Now this is the question in front of us. By reading we understood that the type of solid is a pentagonal pyramid. So I'll draw the diagram for that. And explain the remaining conditions step by step. So here is the diagram of a pentagonal pyramid in which we have a pentagonal base and then there are five corners of the base connected to a common apex. The corners are connected to the apex with the help of slant edges and here since this is a pentagonal pyramid there will be five slant edges forming five triangular faces so here is the pentagonal pyramid now in the question it is given that a pentagonal pyramid side of base 35 mm and height 70 mm rest on its base on HP so it is resting on HP like I have shown in this diagram we can consider this pentagon to be kept in HP that is on the ground and when we are keeping it on the ground then from the front we are going to see the triangular faces but from the top we are going to see the pentagonal base. So now in this case we have to draw that pentagon in HP because in top view it will be seen as a pentagon. So let us get started with the solution to this problem. XY line then VPHP. The pentagonal pyramid is of side 35 mm and height is 70 mm. So for that and it is resting on HP on its base on HP with one side of base perpendicular to VP. The side of base is 35 measuring 72 degree angle because that is the inclination of the base of a pentagon. Similarly measuring 72 degree onto the other side as well.
measuring 35 mm in the compass then keeping this same distance marking it on both the sides from there drawing an arc keeping the same distance next cutting that arc from the other point here is that intersection point and needs to be joined at this location then i need to locate the apex for this pentagon which we are looking from top so this is the pentagonal base and for apex here the side is 35 i'll take half of it joining it to the opposite corner then taking any one of the sides marking its midpoint joining it to the opposite corner so right here i get the intersection point which is the apex i can say point o now here there are five corners so giving notations to them then joining these corners to the common apex so joining the corners to the apex this is the top view of that pentagon now front view for that i'll project the points upwards so here i have one dash comma two dash next 3 and 5 are at the same location so they will be passing through the same line point 4 this will be 4 dash 3 dash and 5 dash projecting the apex upwards it is having a height of 70 mm joining all the points to the common apex here we have o dash next after drawing this pentagon in the question if we read the condition is pentagonal pyramid side of base 35 mm and height 70 mm rest on its base on hp with one side of base perpendicular to vp now that side is 1 2 this side is perpendicular to vp it is seen in hp so this is the condition next it is cut by a plane which is the cutting plane which is perpendicular to vp such that the true shape of the section is an isosceles triangle of maximum possible base and maximum height so here they have mentioned the true shape that it should be in the form of an isosceles triangle dimensions are not given but they have given us the hint in the form of maximum base and height draw its front view sectional top view which will be here and true shape of the section so now when we are trying to cut this pentagon we are going to get a triangle only when one of the points of the cutting plane is passing through the apex in that case we are going to get a triangle it means at least one point of the cutting plane should pass through the apex next here if i see in the top view when i'll be connecting the points 3 and 5 when i connect that this is the maximum distance which i can get on this top view that is 3 to 5 so when i'll be projecting it onto this right hand side that will be the maximum base for us and then i'll get the maximum height so let us see how it is done here projecting a light line
now this is the maximum possible base drawing a parallel line through it so here is the maximum possible base and as i have explained at least one point of the cutting plane should pass through the apex so if we want a triangle in that case i'll say that this is 3n 5 so here 3 dash 5 dash and if i say that 3 i'll give it as point a here and point b so these will indicate point a dash and b dash of the cutting plane so here a dash comma b dash are the points of the cutting plane the next point is passing through the apex that i'll say it is o and then joining them cutting plane a a dash now which part is to be retained and which is to be removed for that if we see here this is the maximum possible base we want this section so it will be made dark then this apex portion connecting 5 and o or we can say b to o and a to o that will be dark so this is the triangle which we are seeing from top and now i can say that the portion which is there on to the left hand side of the cutting plane that is retained and whatever is there on to the right hand side that is removed so the retained part will be made dark so this much is the retained portion and in the top view connecting 1 to b and 2 to a o to 1 is retained that is o dash 1 dash in the front view and in the top view o to 1 will be retained so drawing a dark line through it next o to 2 is also retained so that will also be a dark line and whatever is there ahead of point a and b that is a 4 b a dash 4 dash 4 dash and b dash that portion has been removed so here we are getting this triangle in the top view next i'll draw the sectioning over it so for that i'll measure an angle equal to 45 degree for the sectioning lines So this is the top view of the pentagon pentagonal pyramid when it is cut and we are we are getting a triangle now this is the maximum possible base for maximum possible height i need to get the true shape of the section and for that i'll say that first of all these are the base edges point a and b projecting them upwards then i am drawing a light horizontal line through it now ab when projected in the front view it becomes a dash b dash so here i am making this triangular base that is here i'll make this cutting plane parallel next after getting a dash b dash i'll mark the length of the cutting plane measuring from o dash up to a dash b dash so this is the length of the cutting plane and marking it from here 
so this is nothing but the apex point o dash projecting it light so here i get point o joining o to b and a to o so this is the isosceles triangle then making it dark drawing the sectioning lines through it So this is the true shape of the section. Drawing its axis, making the cutting plane dark. A A dash is the cutting plane. So this is the true shape of the section. And here we have the maximum base and maximum height for this isosceles triangle. And then I am going to give the dimensions to it. So after giving the dimensions we can say that the problem just this axis is left and now we can say that the problem has been completed